Hello friends, it's March and I am back in the poetry garden and I'm here thinking about this month, this season as the time when my family used to make maple syrup. It's a time when it is technically meteorological spring, but it's still cold. There still are patches of snow and ice on the ground around me. I'm still in my winter jacket. And yet, we know that at this time of year, life is beginning to flow again through the earth, through ourselves. There is new emergence ready all around us to appear. When my family used to make maple syrup at this time of year, we waited for the time when the nights would be below freezing and the days often especially those sunny days would be above freezing and what that meant was that the sap in the maple trees would rise during the day and go up to the leaves of the tree and then the sap would drop back down again at night into the root system and it was that movement of the sap from the crown of the tree to the root system that would make it possible for us to tap the trees and to get enough sap to boil it down 40 times. We reduced it 40 times to get that sweet golden maple syrup that we would then bottle and enjoy for the rest of the year. I want to suggest to you that in this moment, there are many things that are beginning to move, just beginning to prepare for emergence. And part of our job is to let our bodies and our imaginations and our hearts and spirits awaken to that movement and that emergence about to come. So today I want to share with you a body mudra with the bare branch trees behind me. I'm going to share this spring mudra with you that I created a couple of years ago with this desire for spring. And so here is how it begins. It begins close up, as we are in winter, kind of closed and staying warm. May I open my heart to the lengthening daylight. May my roots draw up water from the softening earth. May my winter bear branches relax and release into buds, into leaves. May the sweetness within me rise and fall, rise and fall in response to spring's promise. Now let it come. The new shoots, the new blooms, the new life now emerging. Friends, as we close today with these bare branches behind me, I want to walk with you over to the magnolia tree that's a little closer and show you what is emerging today. Because as bare branched as everything appears to be, take a look here at the branches on this tree. And if you can see the buds, soft, furry, getting ready to emerge. May you find your way to emerge, to let new promises for health, for well-being, for justice and connection emerge in your life. So much is waiting in this moment. So much is in bud. As we emerge from the pandemic, 
as we emerge from the long-standing racial oppression and the jury is being selected for a trial that may just mark a turning point in this country's racial healing. Tend to the buds, my friends. Tend to the emergence. Take good care. Be steady, be strong, be well.